Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to talk about the rebirth of a closed theory business. Or at least it was closed for a while. In the Mill Creek Mall, like five months ago, the Sears closed. And that Sears has been in the Mill Creek Mall since 1974. And I remember, uh, you know, it was like a two... Uh, level business and they had like an escalator there I know my dad was uh, whenever we first started going there my dad didn't have a problem with it then as he got older he had a really started to really get a really bad fear of heights I have a fear of heights too but he was afraid they had like a ledge where you could look over he was afraid to walk real close to that you don't want to see it go down because he's on the second floor when he's on the second floor of Sears uh, and he was even scared sometimes going on the escalator just to look over the the, the rail and stuff. And, um, but I remember that Sears that closed down in the Mill Creek Mall, like, I know whenever we went to see, uh, they used, well, so many things have changed. They used to have, like, a, the Mill Creek 3, and it was a set of three movie theaters that since shut down in, like, the early 90s. And that got moved out. I think there's a, a whole bunch of stuff there now, but... It used to be a set of movie theaters, and I remember we went to see E.T. Giant line. There was we were supposed to get a pin that says I saw E.T. and they ran out of them. And I remember we wanted to, we got a VCR and we wanted to get E.T. My dad wanted to get it, and it was selling there on VHS. It was like three hundred and fifty some dollars. That said, the hell with that. That's when videotapes used to be incredibly expensive for movies and stuff. Most movies, anyways. Well, anyways, I had a lot of memories of that Sears, and it was really huge back in 1974. Now, since then, in the Summertown Plaza, there was two businesses that closed. Um, they made a new Giant Eagle. They built a new Giant Eagle. My sister said it was close to uh, where old Charlie's was. I didn't know about this. And they closed down the one that we used to go to all the time next to Kmart, and the Kmart closed down. Uh, we used to go there uh, after Dad died. My sister used to go there. That's where I we got that chicken. I did the River City Chicken Review. But I think Giant Eagle has gotten really majorly expensive. And my friend uh, from work, Mike, was telling me that about a year ago they got rid of the value uh, the value brand or it was value something. And even that was expensive because I remember last time, I remember going that one time, I was looking for, uh, I can't remember it was value something. And it was supposed to be a generic brand, like value thing, like a pound of pepperoni, like nine bucks for the value brand. No way. But they got rid of that, and he said, like, the people that live real close to, that, to the one in Gerard were really upset because it's really expensive. Well, anyways, because that new one, uh, new Giant Eagle was built, that one closed down, the Kmart closed down, and what's happening now is they're opening what they call uh, something new. It's a line of... Uh, Sears hometown and outlet stores. And what happened is it's, uh, oh, and it says, uh, the one, the former Sears location in, uh, uh Mill Creek Mall is going to be, uh, moved in by some place from renting called Boss Gods. I don't know what that is. But I mean, this is a new Sears smaller location, and it's the sixth opening of a new Sears hometown store in 2017. Maybe that's something. Completely different, and uh, but usually Sears t hometown and outlet stores typically focus on appliances, tools, and lawn and garden equipment. However, uh, this store will also have the regular uh, products that most customers uh, associate with Sears, including the apparel, jewelry, and stuff like that. So, it's going to be a, a Sears store. Oh, and then it says like. Uh, they had the option to order products online and pick them up in the store without a shipping charge. So that's pretty cool. I mean, so basically, it's uh, Sears is moving in a different direction, and it's going to be a smaller Sears, but it's a different. It's the same products that you uh, have come to know and know and love from Sears if you go to Sears, but you can buy them there, and that's something very new. I think it just opened up, and. Uh, I didn't know about this. I was told about this by uh, when we went to Aldi's. You know, when we went by that one summertime plant, my uh, niece was saying that they closed down the giant. They said, really? That's the one we used to go to, and it was doing really well. 
And then uh, they said they opened a new giant ingo and they uh, closed that one down and they're putting a Sears back in it. Really? I found out about this last Friday. I wanted to do a video and I got kind of backtracked, but this is the video. Like a new store is uh, a formerly closed Erie business is now opening up. Well, I mean, the Sears is nationwide, but Erie business, you know, pretty important Erie business is uh, reborn. In a new location. The Sears hometown and outlet store. So until next time. Bye please. Take care of my legion. Thank you to my niece. And then my sister told me more about that too. So I didn't know about this when I was in. It was new to me. Alright take care everybody.